Okay, good morning guys. Got a new arrival here for the Arrival Track Series number four update. And this is the pre-built factory I got from Model Train Stuff. Uh, it's manufactured by Plasticville Buckman. Plasticville. There's your item number. Not very big. It's a small little thing. That's what I wanted for this one siding. I don't have anything on yet. I like having these small ones. You can stick in there about anywhere it doesn't look overwhelming keeps your overall appearance of the layout looking big because you don't have big objects on there so it's got clear plastic doors and windows a thin sheet of acrylic in there two little smokestacks an office and a loading there's, dock then on the back side is, there's the back side you can see the clear plastic doors like Sheeting kind of reminds me of when you'd have a, a windscreen in a doorway to uh, keep the cold air out. But I think he just did it to keep it sealed up so you don't have bugs and stuff getting in there. So got a full dock on the back, wraps all the way around. You got a big door there on that end too, and then the office. So that'll look pretty good on my siding back there. Uh, just another addition to make things look better. No more businesses, uh, industry to serve with the trains, with the locals. And let's see, I've got a uh, another car coming, a micro train line, MTO hopper with graffiti on it. I found that I ordered that'll be coming in and that's about it for now I lost two bids on eBay for some center beam cars I don't want to push the price any higher so I'm just gonna hold off and do some more looking so that's the yeah just a plain wall there that's uh that's the update for today we'll make it a short one here we survived the snowstorm, only got two and a half inches with five inch drifts, but the temperature was minus eight this morning at 735, and the wind chill was minus 15. Right now we're at seven degrees and one wind chill. Big improvement, sunny blue skies out there. Tomorrow it's gonna warm up to 35, uh, and I'll be out plowing some more. And 46 on Wednesday with sunshine. So I can finish up all the plowing, get some melting done. But in the meantime, today we're staying inside. I've been monitoring, listening to the Broadcastify feed out of Northern Ohio for CSX, Norfolk Southern, and uh, Wheeling and Lake Erie railroads are having all kinds of trouble all weekend. You can imagine with the weather. They had a, a train hit a salt truck snowplow last night and Shook the crew up and damaged the locomotive real bad. Sheared off uh, some piston, air brake piston covers and stuff on the axles, they said, on the number three truck. Uh, so, tore that locomotive up. They got broken rails at the west end, northwest end, the Wheeling Lake Erie line over by Spencer. And a bunch of switches messed up that don't want to go. Said it's a mess. So those poor guys aren't having fun today out there in that cold working. I'm going to stay here in a warm house in a warm recliner and piddle around doing things. Everybody take care. Have a good day. Good week. And hope you enjoyed this little mini segment of Arrival Track Update number four. Double Diamond Railroad signing off.